Hello guys, Jigweer Singh back with another video. And in this video, I will cover how to use poll function in particular. So let's get started. So this is one of the part that I designed in previous videos. This was part six of beginner's practice. And you can see that I have uh, suppressed or deactivated the pocket. I'm just going to activate it. And you can see that this was the complete part where we, we were supposed to make a hole right here. So I made it using the pocket feature, which is completely fine, but I just wanted to give another perspective to this. So I'm just going to quickly deactivate the hole as it was initially. And so let's say if I have to make a hole in this particular part, so I have the hole feature as well. So single click on hole feature, and I'm just going to select right here. So you can see it automatically snapped to this particular point where it was but I want to make sure that I align it properly. So what I do is I'll make sure that everything is aligned perfectly in the middle. Because that's the only way to make sure that everything is fine at all. So let's say if I have to move this part right here and exit out, I can say that okay. This looks about right. It all depends on where you position the hole. I'm not sure where exactly the sketch of this thing was. So this is the sketch. So I can <coughs> show this sketch. I'm going to show this sketch and I'm going to activate the sketch. Just the sketch. Oh, my, my bad. I'm going to deactivate activate it like this okay i just wanted a sketch so i'm just going to use a sketch for the hole all right i'm going to use the previous sketch as for the <coughs> as a reference i'm going to coincide this with concentric right here and exit out Okay, shows right there. Okay, I want to make it go concentric. It's showing an error, but well, that's fine. It happens. That's fine. And hole is again. You can always make a hole just by making it as a plane, or you can simply click on the tangent surface and click OK. Yeah, it's going to automatically snap to the high point. If not, you if you have the dimension, then you can simply use the dimension features, right? Coincide, but not coincide. My bad. Concentric. That looks better. But again, it comes down to the point that what you're trying to use. So there you go. We have the hole. So that was my only motive for this video because in, while I was designing this part, I showed it, but there was slightly misconceptions that I personally had. So I cleared them out and then I tried to show that how you could improve and use the whole feature to make this particular hole. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you like it. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Take it easy. Bye.